is what I wore today. My everyday jewels. I have this Julie Voss necklace with cute clover-like charms around it. I have some gold hoops. And this is just my everyday jewelry. It's easy for me to just grab. And I really like this shirt with the eyelids. You know, it's just a fancier nod to the white t-shirt. And my shoes are these brown gold studded sandals and they have like a, a gold trim around them y'all hear me talk about simply 10 the store that the clothes are 10.99 or less these shoes were i think eight dollars uh, y'all i love to save a dollar and still look daggum good and my headband is courtesy of me I sewed this and added the jewels to it. I have been loving the knotted headbands, absolutely loving the knotted headbands. And I think it's perfect for the summer. There are a few more that I want to make before I start offering them on my website because people have been asking. I made them not having the intention to sell, but just because I wanted them and whenever I would go and look for them they were either too expensive or not what I wanted so I have been loving them all right that he that is in the world and he says God has used what you did to me to put me in the palace, to give me a prominent leadership position. Okay, so I'm trying something new. I went to Curry Express and I'm trying Indian food. Now it has been some years since I've had authentic Indian food. A friend um, invited us to a beautiful wedding and that was my first time, but that was so many years ago. So we have a spot that's local to us and I figured, let me try it. I don't, I don't have the capacity to tell you what all is included and what I picked up. I did want to try samosas and that's what I have. So here is my plate. And it was set up like a buffet. And these, it's a dessert. Let's see if I can even see what the dessert would be. Um, if you know it, let me know what it is. It smells sweet, like a, maybe a donut. So, <laughs> because I didn't know what to expect, I didn't know if I would even like it, I picked up gizzards from a local spot here. And I know it's gonna be spicy somewhere, so I have something to drink. Here's naan, which I know naan will be pretty good. Um, these are the samosas. Let's put some, here's some bone in chicken. And I keep looking at the menu to see if I can even spot it out. But there's rice with this chicken on top. There's some noodles. I have really been wanting to try this. And I believe this is chicken. I don't know. And then here is some type of potato. Okay. 
The seasoning that I just had was pretty good. So here is a samosa. It's a little small one. Don't know what it's filled with. Pretty good. Pretty good. Now I'm going to try this. Okay, not bad. Not bad. And the rice and chicken mixture. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I'm getting the spices. I'm getting flavor. There's a little bit of heat that's brewing. It's not overpowering at all. Very flavorful. Okay. I'm excited. This rice and chicken is wonderful. And samosa. Okay. Here's my plate that I just fixed for me to nibble on. And there's still quite a bit in here. I know my husband is going to want to try it when he gets in today. So there's plenty for him to try. My girls, not so much. I paid about $18 to $19 for the buffet. And it really is worth it. I'm not disappointed about what I got. Everything that was on um, the food service area, I did not get. I just got what I thought I would be willing to try. But it is pretty good. Pretty good. So if you're familiar with Indian food, you should know that I'm trying something very tasty. And I have no regrets. Okay, so I will try the dessert. I was gonna pass it up until the gentleman said no, give it a try. So if you know what this is, tell me, tell me the correct term. It's deli. I know he mentioned some honey, um, cheese, dough. Okay, it's a nice, it's a nice little treat. It's very sweet. It's very sweet. Puts me in the mind of like a pancake ball. Worth a try. This was my effort to try something new. Um, like I said, it's been a while since I've had Indian food and I have been trying my best to just try different things. And my first time going in by myself to place an order was good. This is very flavorful. I'm not disappointed at all. Um, so yes, I do recommend. And I am going to save my Southern Girl delicacy, which is <laughs> chicken gizzards, fried chicken gizzards. I'm going to save these for later on because I actually think that I can finish this or maybe I'll eat one or two of those. And if you're not familiar with a chicken gizzard, are you really living life? But that's, <laughs> that's what it is. And I um, didn't, I'm glad that I did get this drink, but 
it's not over overly spicy to where I can't enjoy my meal. So yes, go out there, try something new, try an Indian dish. And if you are a fan of Indian cuisine, let me know in the comment area what your favorite dish is. I didn't take you with me, but I am doing a haul. I went to one of my favorite places that you've heard me talk about and it costs simply 10. And I saw this striped button down that I think would be great for the fall. Could wear it alone with a pair of jeans or put a sweater on top. And they had these crinkle sets, which I have it I have one in black from can't remember where. And I have a A mauve colored one that I love they're very comfortable it looks like you put a whole lot of effort into it so here's the pants um, like a mocha color on one side and cream on the other and then the top it's long sleeve and the colors alternate so I think that's going to be cute. That's what I got from Simply 10 today. If you have Simply 10 in your area and you're not hooked on, you know, spending hundreds of dollars on your pieces and you want to look great on a budget, try them. And I went to Dollar Tree. My dog Charlie wants to help. I went to Dollar Tree. Sorry about that. Went to Dollar Tree. These are things that I often get whenever I go. But these are new. These are facial tissues. I think these will fit perfectly in a cup holder for the car. So my initial thought was to get one for the front seat, one for the back seat. Get ready to fall over. Don't fall. I know this is a wonky setup, but got two of those. They had different designs. I've been into headbands lately and don't, don't. Y'all gotta be still so you can see. Be still. So, got this cute pearl headband. Grab snacks that I like. Here you go again. You, you keep falling, you're not gonna be able to see everything. I like these. I got them in the white cheddar, and I think I like them in wasabi and maybe ranch. Another treat that I like are these watermelon rings with tahine. Yes, please. I got my dog a squeaky toy, which she already has that. Here are some lip balms. It's the Himalayan Pink Salt. This flavor is rose, but these do pretty good. So usually I'll give one or two packs so that I can have on hand when needed. And I like to get the Scotch Transparent Tape to use for um, wrapping gifts or packaging up, you know, small things. Okay. Then I went to Walmart and got this red fabric. It was on sale. It's normally $4 and something. I think I got it for three. I can't remember the numbers, but the red fabric was on sale. I definitely needed some more red fabric. I got some black eyeliner from e.l.f. And I've been enjoying the Revlon Colorstay Limitless Matte. And I got this red shade, which I think, and I have a lot of red, but I like how it, this has been staying on. So I figured I'd pick up me a nice red so that I can pop out in the fall with a red lip. 
absolutely love the cocoa butter body oil. So it's Moisture Care Cocoa Divine Body Oil Gel. Love this. I use this and I pair it with this EOS lotion in the vanilla cashmere. Oh, a great combination. A great combo. I needed some more facial toner. This is the kind that I use. Um, I like it in the cucumber scent, but they didn't have it. But because I needed it, I got it in the rose petal. And I got deodorant. And that, my friend, is my haul. It is college dorm packing time. My daughter spent most of the day getting her things boxed up in storage bins so that we can get ready so that we can get ready for move-in day which is fastly approaching let me say this I'm so sorry I have vowed to have a video up weekly specifically on Sunday but life has been doing its thing with end of the year school things or end of program school things trying to get my oldest ready for college big events at work you know family things that um you know being one of the eldest you know you have to step in for elderly family members life has been doing it but that's not going to stop me from my commitment to myself and my commitment to you all who tune in each week to watch my videos i may not get a video up on sunday but i'm getting a video up and this is one of them this one is all over the place this one is more like this particular vlog it's more like um the inside of my mind when it, it's not focused <laughs> and and i don't i haven't been diagnosed with anything i'm not claiming anything it's just i've been trying to get it in where it can fit in and that's what you're seeing today so if i didn't say anything today is monday it is technically my off day and I try to do some things that I can't do or couldn't do for the weekend. Um, if I have to work, that really cuts into my weekend time. But if I am spending the weekend doing things with my girls, um, Mondays, I usually try to take a little bit of time for myself and get some things done. So that's what today is. Um, I pick, I'm picking up the camera kind of late today because uh, I went to a few stores, but I did show you my haul. My office is a hot mess. I also want to do my nails today. I know I will do my nails today, um, but I need to clean my office. I can't do any type of work in here when it's just chaotic. And the past few weeks, I'll come, I'll do something, I won't clean it up right after, or when packages come in, this is like a holding space for large packages. We'll take the stuff out the boxes, leave, you know, a hot mess. So right now I'm going to um, get some type of order in here so that the next thing that I can do is focus on my nails. I did go and get my toes done earlier today. So now it's my nails. And I think I want to go with a color. What do you think? I've been doing this nude color with um, white accents for about a month and a half. You know, this is my second time doing this particular design. But I think I want to go with color. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not even lying, am I? Look look at all of this 
on the desk. So it's primarily my desk area that is the most chaotic. And of course I need to do some things around the desk, but this, because it's so large, this becomes the landing pad for so much. I gotta get this together. This is horrible. <laughs> It is so bad that I don't even know where my tripod is. And now that I'm looking at some of the things I'm picking up, my youngest tends to come in here when I um, travel for school. She will come in here and she'll do her crafts and things. And I'm always giving the same speech. Don't come in here. When I'm not in here, I don't know what you're doing. And she says, oh, I'm not going to do it. But then you know how that goes. You know how that goes. So this is a combination of my stuff, her stuff. <sighs> but a good hour, a good hour and I should have a better peace of mind. For the most part, my desk is cleared out. I feel so much better. I'm getting ready to do my nails now. Um, I have my ring light on so that I can see my nails better when I get ready to do them. And yeah, what you're seeing right there, y'all, are cracks in my glass on my desk. Breaks my heart. But I think I am coming to the end of life for this desk I absolutely love it it I bought this from um, a bank several years ago when they were getting new furniture and I loved the large scale of the desk and because I do a lot of crafting using hot glue and paints I figured a glass top would be perfect because it helps with cleanup but I'm coming to the to the end and now probably at the beginning of the year because it's not a priority. I'm going to search for a smaller desk. But I I have, this desk has been so good to me. So I've tried to clear as much of the surface of it as possible so that I can have room for my laptop, books, when I have to lay them out, nails. I, I just need as much space as possible, so. I hope I can find something comparable, but less bulky. All right, nail time. My nails are done. I went with a red, something completely different. I don't know if this was a good decision knowing that I have to move my daughter into college <laughs> very, very soon. But I wanted to go for a red. I really have been eyeballing um, the OPI color Cajun Shrimp and this was the closest color, but I like I like it. It's it's a pop of color and we'll we'll see. And if I don't like it, you know I can change it. Now it is 10:56 and I have not planned I didn't plan on yesterday Sunday. I want to try to jot down some things before I go to bed. There are some things that I want to get done this week and I'm even excited about using my new sticker book. So I'm gonna spend maybe about 30 minutes planning out my week.
Friend, I know this vlog has not been long. I guarantee you I'm gonna get back on track, but I'm keeping my commitment of getting a video up once a week. I am now finished with writing out my week's plans and goals, and it is now 12:17. I stayed up way past what I initially wanted to, but this is some good stuff. It's some pretty good stuff. So I will pick back up the camera later on this week so that I can generate the vlog for it next week. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I always ask you to engage with me down in the comment area. Leave a comment, drop a heart. Um, just so that I'll know that you are here and I can also see who it is you are so we can continue to connect with one another. All right, I'm getting ready to go get ready for bed so that I can start my week off right tomorrow. And I hope that you have an awesome week as well. All right, thank you again for watching and until the next one, talk to you later. Bye.